Hello all, welcome to Concepti classes. Here we will be dealing with the question and answers of chapter 2, Microorganisms, Friend and Foe. So before entering into the exercises, let's take a quick revision of chapter 2. In chapter 2, first we saw what are microorganisms. The living organisms around us that we cannot see with our naked eye are called as microorganisms. Where do these microorganisms live? They are everywhere. From ice cold environment to hot deserts. Wherever there is moisture, we can find microorganisms. They are inside as well as outside living organisms. Then we saw about the friendly microorganisms. Microorganisms help human beings in many ways. They help in making of curd and bread. They are used commercially in the production of wine, acetic acid or alcohol. They are used medically as well. That is the antibiotics and vaccines are made using microorganisms. Then we saw how microorganisms increases the soil fertility, how they clean the environment. So like that we saw how microorganisms acts as a friend to us. Then we saw the harmful effects of microorganisms. Microorganism causes diseases in human beings, animals as well as plants. They also contaminate our food causing food poisoning. Then we saw the food preservation techniques different types of methods such as chemical method, preservation by salt, sugar, oil and vinegar, hot and cold treatments by storage and canning. So in such ways we could preserve the cooked food for a long period of time. Then we saw about nitrogen fixation. In nitrogen fixation we discussed how microorganisms like rhizobium or cyanobacteria fixes the atmospheric nitrogen and then it utilized by plants and animals and the different techniques of how these nitrogen is com converted into similar compounds and all. Then we saw about the nitrogen cycle. That is even though the nitrogen is fixed by uh, different bacteria or fixed by lightning, the amount of nitrogen in the air always remain a constant. So we explain how that is possible. So now let's enter into the exercises. So let's start the exercises. The first question is fill in the blanks. Microorganisms can be seen with the help of a microscope. Blue-green algae also called as cyanobacteria fixes dash directly from the air and enhance the fertility of soil. So blue-green algae what it is also called as cyanobacteria it fixes nitrogen from the air and enhances the fertility of the soil. Alcohol is produced with the help of which microorganism? Yeast. Yeast is a type of fungi. Cholera is caused by DASH, which microorganism causes disease called as cholera bacteria. So the second question is, tick the correct answer. Yeast is used in the production of sugar, alcohol, hydrochloric acid and oxygen. So what would be the answer? Yeast is used in the production of alcohol. We saw in the production of alcohol, the sugar which is in the alcohol is converted by yeast and this process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is known as fermentation. Now the second question is the following is an antibiotic sodium bicarbonate, streptomycin, alcohol and yeast. Yeast is a microorganism and alcohol is not an antibiotic and sodium bicarbonate is a preservative. So the answer obviously would be streptomycin. The carrier of malaria causing protozoan is is it a female anopheles mosquito or a cockroach, housefly or butterfly? We know that butterfly is not the answer as well as cockroach. Housefly causes bacteria in food and it causes diseases like tuberculosis, cholera. So the answer would be female anopheles mosquito. The most common carrier of communicable diseases is, is it an ant? No. Housefly? Dragonfly, spider, of course it is, and housefly. Housefly is the most common carrier. You can find housefly everywhere. So the next question is, the bread or the idli dough rises because of heat, grinding, growth of yeast cells or kneading. So why do this bread or idli dough rises? It's because of the process of fermentation. So fermentation is done only with the help of yeast. That is, inside fermentation, the yeast cells, it breaks down the sugar into alcohol and it keeps on multiplying inside the dough, thereby creating gases of carbon dioxide 
which helps in rising of the bread or idli dough. The process of conversion of sugar into alcohol. I just told that now, right? The process of converting sugar into alcohol is called as fermentation. The third question is, match the organisms of column A with their actions in column B. So in A, we have a set of organisms such as bacteria, rhizobium, lactobacillus, yeast, a protozoan and a virus. And their actions are fixing nitrogen, setting of curd, baking of bread, causing malaria, causing cholera, causing AIDS and producing antibodies. So let's see each of these organisms and their actions. So bacteria mainly what does it do it causes infections or diseases to us and the main diseases are tuberculosis as well as cholera then rhizobium is a nitrogen fixing bacteria so the answer would be fixing nitrogen lactobacillus this type of uh, organism is found inside the curd and it helps in setting of curd yeast yeast is mainly used for fermentation process that is for baking of bread or for alcohol or anything we used yeast a protozoan we know that a protozoan called as plasmodium causes malaria and the carrier was a female anopheles mosquito and the viruses causes aids aids is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and it is caused by a virus now the fourth question is can microorganisms be seen with a naked eye if not how can they be seen no, we cannot see microorganisms with a naked eye because they are very small in size. That's why they are called as microorganisms. And we can see the microorganisms using a magnifying glass or a microscope. The question number five is what are the major groups of microorganisms? Microorganisms are classified into five. Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, algae and viruses. We have discussed about these five classification in detail in part 1 of chapter 2 microorganisms friend and foe if you have any doubt please refer to the video of part 1 next question name the microorganisms which can fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil some microorganisms like rhizobium it's a bacteria which are able to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to enrich the soil with nitrogen these microbes are called as nitrogen fixers Rhizobium is a bacteria which is mainly used to fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. And there are also other nitrogen fixers such as blue-green algae or cyanobacteria which does not require a plant host. They have a pigment called as chlorophyll and they will make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Question number 7. Write 10 lines on the usefulness of microorganisms in our lives. We know that the microorganisms play an important role in our lives. It's used in the making of curd. Curd contains a bacteria called as lactobacillus which promotes the formation of curd and this bacteria multiplies in the milk and convert it into curd. Microorganisms such as bacteria are also involved in making cheese, pickles and other food items as well. Bacteria and yeast are helpful for the fermentation of rice, idli or dosha batter. Yeast is also used in baking industry for making of breads, pastries and cakes. Microorganisms such as yeast are used in large scale for the production of alcohol, wine and acetic acid. These are the five uses of microorganisms in lives. Now let's see the next point. Antibiotics are also being produced from bacteria and fungi. Vaccines are also made from microorganisms to protect humans and animals against several diseases. Some microorganisms like bacteria are able to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere. And this also is a very important use of microorganisms. They enrich the soil with nitrogen and increases its fertility. The plant and animal waste are converted into manure by the action of microbes. And microorganisms decompose the dead organic waste into simpler substances which are again then used by other plants and thereby cleaning the environment. Question number 8. Write a short paragraph on the harmful effects of microorganisms. Microorganisms are harmful in many ways. Microorganisms causes diseases in human beings. Disease causing microorganisms called as pathogens enter into our body 
through the air we breathe to the water we drink or through the food we eat they can also get transmitted by direct contact with an infected person or carried by insects and such insects or animals which carry these disease causing microorganisms are called as carriers examples of such diseases are tuberculosis cholera typhoid microorganisms also spoil food clothing and leather microorganisms cause diseases in animals as well example anthrax it is a cattle disease which is caused by a bacterium foot and mouth disease it is also caused by a microorganisms called a virus microorganisms cause diseases in plants as well because of this diseases the yield of crops would be less some example is citrus canker rust of beet yellow vein mosaic of okra food poisoning is also caused by microorganisms question number 9 what are antibiotics what precautions must be taken while taking antibiotics the medicines that kill or stop the growth of disease causing microorganisms are called as antibiotics these antibiotics are produced from bacteria and fungi example streptomycin tetracycline and erythromycin now what are the precautions while taking antibiotics antibiotics should be taken only on the advice of a qualified doctor and we must complete the course prescribed by the doctor if we take antibiotics when not needed or in wrong doses it may make the drug less effective when you might need it in the future antibiotic taken unnecessarily may kill the beneficial bacteria in the body and the antibiotics however are not effective against cold and flu which are caused by viruses so that's all for the exercises in chapter 2 microorganisms friend and foe tune in soon for the next session the next video will be on chapter 3 synthetic fibers and plastics please don't forget to share like and subscribe if you find the contents useful thank you so much may god bless you all take care bye bye